Metropolis has been developed and is being planned around the major airports over the world in order to enhance urban and business growth as well as national competitive future in the new global economy. Building on the success of its eastern seaboard project, Thailand envisions the Eastern Economic Corridor, or EEC, as a catalyst to bolster economic growth and promote an increase in tourist numbers. The government is thus developing regional infrastructure, including Utapau Airport, in accordance with the Aerotropolis model. In responding to these challenges, what's needed? I think it's absolutely essential that you have a strategic roadmap and development approach that's cornerstone by the model I explained in the last session, the Aerotropolis model. Second, leadership, fostering coordinated actions across all government levels and the private sector to implement the Aerotropolis strategy. And third, you must fully leverage Utapau Airport and Lam Chabong and Mataput ports and I might add Satahib. It's their planned multimodal surface transportation links to them, special economic zones, and quality urban development for the EEC's competitive advantage in the new business environment. In this context, a plan for the Utapau Aerotropolis, a metropolitan sub-region whose infrastructure, land use, and economy are centered on Utapau Airport is being developed. What is an Aerotropolis? Well, really, uh, as you can read, an Aerotropolis is an urban region whose infrastructure, land use, and economy are centered on an airport. Uh, the Aerotropolis has two basic components. Uh, the first is the airport and its aeronautical, logistics, and commercial facilities that anchor an airport city at its core. So the airport city is not the Aerotropolis. The airport city really is the central business district, the multimodal, multifunctional central business district. But the second component, as you move out 10, 20, 30 kilometers from the airport, are these outlying corridors and clusters of aviation-oriented businesses and industries and associated residential developments that feed off of each other and their accessibility to the airport. So you have airport city at the core and then outward these corridors uh, and clusters and spines of aviation uh, linked businesses and industries. Utapau, a military civilian airport with a decades long history as a key national security asset and high potential for development. It is currently planned to be Thailand's third major destination for international airlines. In support of the Eastern Economic Corridor or EEC development scheme, The two-phase plan includes construction of a new runway and development of six distinct investment areas in its vicinity. For the EEC model, the EEC Aerotropolis model, I look at it as a strategic approach to enhancing municipal and provincial prosperity through improved multimodal transportation access and aviation-linked commercial and industrial and urban development coordinated with the improved multimodal access, making Utapau Airport and the entire Eastern Economic Corridor better connected, more economically efficient, attractive, and sustainable. Those points I've been hammering home in the lecture thus far. 
The Aerotropolis model offers businesses located near or having good surface transportation access to the airport with speedy connectivity to their suppliers, customers, and enterprise partners nationally and worldwide. That was one of the value propositions that I mentioned in the last session. The Aerotropolis contains the full set of commercial facilities that support airlines and aviation-linked businesses, as well as the millions of tourists who pass through Utapau annually. An airport city developed on and immediately around Utapau serves as the multimodal, multifunctional logistics and commercial nexus, anchoring aviation-enabled trade in goods and services, but then driving it throughout the entire EEC. And connectivity, linkages. The Aerotropolis connects its businesses and people speedily to markets near and far. But the local transportation and the lo local, the local regional transportation surface is just as important as the air transportation. Because as local and regional here at the EEC, improved surface transportation connects firms more efficiently to airport area and broader regional markets. Okay? That's your surface. Expanded air routes provide quick and efficient connectivity to national and international markets. The bottom line is that the fastest Best connected places will win in the 21st century. With enhanced intermodal connectivity through the advent of an intercity motorway and a high speed train system, the airport is targeted to accommodate 60 million passengers a year by the next 15 years. This comes from a paper I did a year ago in, in the uh, 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 Regional Economic Review. It talks about the way in which, start with one, improve multimodal connectivity in an attractive market, brings in foreign direct investment in the form of supply chains, advanced business services, which adds passengers and air freight, which improves the, also improves the reputation of the area, which supports more airline services and destination, which then further brings in more investment and additional service providers. It's a reinforcing, it generates a reinforcing cycle of investment in air service. So if the goals are to be reached at Utapau of uh, future passenger service and cargo service, you need this reinforcing cycle to be put in place. With efficient connectivity to Suwannapoo and Don Muang airports, Utapau Aerotropolis will bolster spatial distribution of development, which will promote the improved quality of life in the eastern region. not only hone EEC development, but also become a key mechanism for enhancing Thailand's competitive capacity and strengthening national economic growth. For EEC Aerotropolis success. It's a long-term process, not a short-term project. I know there's five-year goals. Politicians, government officials by nature have terms. They'd like to see things accomplished in that period. But this is a long-term process. And you could get it started and give it the momentum, and it will begin to carry on on its own. It must be built on a strategic roadmap and the logic of business investment. It must be built on a strategic roadmap and the logic of business investment. It requires hard and soft infrastructure upgrades, the latter including greater social, institutional, and urban amenities. Remember I said, don't forget the soft part of it. It also requires continuing domestic agency leadership, BOI, and under the leadership of the Office of EEC Management, together with, that's not enough, you have to have this leadership supported by the municipal, provincial, and Thai central government. That support has to be continuing. I think if you do that, you'll be successful, and I wish you the very best.